Developed from the 06 Cayuse Light Reconnaissance Helicopter, the Boeing Hughes MH6 is a small, versatile helicopter used primarily for special operations. It also has a number of variants, including the AH-6, a small but immensely capable attack helicopter. More recent models are based on the Maryland 530 civilian helicopter. In 1960, the U.S. Army issued a requirement for a light helicopter suitable for observation, transport, and even attack roles. The 1966-06 Cayuse was the result. The MH-6 is an improved model, incorporating more passenger space and an increased capability to add armament, among other changes. Although the Little Bird was originally developed as a recon helicopter for armored units, it was almost immediately transferred to the special operations world. The MH-6 utilizes an egg-shaped design. The front houses a large glass, high-visibility bubble cockpit, capable of seating two crew members. The fuselage sides house the passenger seating. In order to reduce weight, this seating consists of simply two benches, one on each side of the helicopter, where six, three on each side, soldiers can be placed. Although it may look dangerous, the upshot of this design allows the soldiers to be able to quickly exit the helicopter. Finally, the rear is the home of the engine, which develops about 375 shp, powering the Little Bird to a maximum speed of 282 kilometers per hour. With 235 liters, 62 gallons, of internal fuel, the MH6 has a max range of 430 kilometers. The MH6 has a number of features that have made it the U.S. Special Forces' primary light helicopter to this day. Despite lacking armor, it is reasonably tough and leaves the pilots a good chance of survival in a crash. It is very quiet, and when painted black, has a good degree of stealth. This light helicopter is also immensely proficient at difficult, fast, and dangerous maneuvers, making it suitable for both urban and rural environments, especially at low altitudes. It can land fast in narrow steers or even on the roofs of buildings. The MH-6 is a smaller alternative to the MH-60 helicopters. AH-6s normally carry their own sensor suites, unless operating with the MH-6, which takes over the sensor role. This allows the AH-6 to carry more armament. The MH-6 has a distinguished combat history. After the 1980 failure in the Eagle Claw hostage rescue operation, the United States needed a special operation helicopter unit. It quickly formed the 160th Special Operations Aviation Brigade, SOAR, more commonly known as the Night Stalkers. This unit has provided and continues to provide ceaseless close air support and transportation for Special Forces units, particularly the elite troops of Joint Special Operations Command, JSOC. The MH-6 first saw combat, although of a limited amount, in Granada and, later, Nicaragua. However, the MH-6 really proved itself in Operation Prime Chance, a mission for protecting merchant shipping. Here, MH-6s first helped guide AH-6s to targets, typically small Iranian boats. In Operation Just Cause, the U.S. invasion of Panama, MH-6s played a critical role. The first and most interesting mission for the Little Birds and their operators was to rescue Kurt Muse, a captured CIA operative. After getting Muse, the helicopter attempted to take off, but was immediately shot down. However, all personnel survived the crash. The Little Birds later participated in the hunt for Manuel Noriega. Four years later, in the much-publicized battle for Mogadishu, the MH-6 succeeded in rescuing two of the downed operatives from one of the downed Blackhawks. The MH-6 saw much combat first in Afghanistan and later in Iraq. They ferried JSOC personnel all over both countries and provided sensor support for AH-6 missions. In Iraq, at the height of the U.S. war there, JSOC launched many missions a day to eliminate insurgents. These missions typically consisted of two AH-6s for interdiction, two MH-6s with snipers for pinpoint shooting, and two MH-60 Black Hawks full of operators for assault. One interesting capability operatives in the 160th SOAR know how to exploit is known as Smokey and the Bandit. The operatives fold the Little Bird's rotors and pack as many as two of them into a large commercial transport truck. This allows the operatives to bring the helicopters close to the target without attracting attention. 
Once they are ready to use the helicopters, operatives can reassemble the MH6s in about three minutes. Other operators of the MH6, besides the United States, are Malaysia and Saudi Arabia. Variants A6 The attack helicopter variant of the Little Bird Source.militarytoday.com's